Today I'm gonna work on a new feature for my blog post and that feature I cannot do it before but right now I can do it thanks to the new feature of Superbase. So let's work on that. So the feature that I wanted to add to my blog post is the ability to schedule a post. So I wanted to schedule a post on a certain date and times but before it's really hard to do. But right now Superbase just released a new feature called Superbase Cron that allows us to run a cron job on a certain date and time. So we're gonna use that to work on for this feature. Right now, I'm going to walk you through how you can implement a cron job and do the schedule post inside your application as well. So the first thing first that you can do, you can go to Superbase project and you can need to go to integrations. And inside the integration right here, you can will find the PG cron, which is the, the cron right here, which I already enabled. I uh, just click on here. You will see the job right here. You right here, you can create a job from this place as well. But this is not what we wanted to do. We wanted to do the on-demand create cron job from the user. And so for that, I integrate this one with my blog post, which is this one right here. So this blog post right here, I built this one probably like a year ago. If you want to know how to build it, the link, in the link is right here. And right now I'm going to go into create. So when I go to create right here, as you can see, I create a new component that led me to schedule a job. And so right here, I can select the date and select the time as well. Right now, let's try to create a test block right here. All right, so right here, I'm going to select the times and I'll select the date and also select the time. If you look at the time right now, it's 425. Let's do it in 427 because in the meantime, I'm going to explain you something along the way as well. So let's do that. Let's click save. So right now, the this one is not, as you can see, the status is not uh, published yet. And if we go back into our cron jobs, if we scroll down right here, we, as you can see, we do at 9.27 a.m. And we're going to do this content right here. Okay, this is automatically created for me because I create a new function that enable me to do that. So let's take a look at the function that I used to create a cron jobs. And so I create a function right here called create block. And inside this create block right here, um, basically, I, I do two things. So this one, I just do insert the block content. This is nothing related to any cron job at all. But this is where I do the perform cron job. As you can see, I check first if the argument is cron job passed to me. If if it exists, if not null, and then I'm going to schedule a cron job. So basically, I'm using a new block ID as a name of the cron jobs. And this is the argument of the cron job schedule. We're going to take a look at that later. But this is the definition of the cron job, what cron job will run. So what cron job will run is just update is published to true. And after that, it just unscheduled the cron jobs. And basically, I'm just using the names right here, the block ID right here. Okay. And so right now, if we take a look at the argument cron jobs, and if we look at the code right here, so this is where I'm going to call to create a block. So as you can see, I'm going to pass the argument schedule cron right here. And the schedule cron right here is come from the generate cron date right here. The generate cron date right here is just basically return you a cron date, a cron strings that looks something like this. And also notice that this one, I'm convert this one into the UTC because that's the timestamp inside your super base. Because inside Superbase, they're using the GMT. It is the same thing as U UTC. Because in my area is UTC plus seven. That's why I just get the get date hour, get minutes right key on the UCC date, which is uh, right now. If let's say it's four it's four p.m. in my time, but in the cron job, it will convert into the nine a.m. And that's why you see the cron job earlier is nine twenty seven at nine forty nine. Yeah, nine twenty seven. Right now, I think our cron job is going to run. So if we're going to take a look at our blog post right here. So you can see this is not published, right? And if I refresh this one, this should auto publish for me. So as you can see, and I'm going to be able to view this one. It's going to be it take some time because this is in development mode. And as you can see, and then if you look at the cron jobs integrations, go to cron job, go to jobs. If you scroll down, all of the is all that job that I perform, it's unscheduled as well. It's not appear here. So all of these things that I have right here, it's just some error that I test before and um, before doing this demo for you guys. And but yeah, that's the code for it. That's super easy to do. And as you can see, we just do something like this. 
and it worked and it works really well as well. And so, yeah, I think that's pretty much it. That's really powerful tool. You know, you can do schedule, not so this is my use case to do a schedule. You can use it to do anything that you want that you can think of with, with the schedule, right? All right, so yeah, Superbase also launched different features as well. They also launched like a queue and I think crunch up with the queue as well is really powerful as well. And also if you wanted to, you know, learn more or you have a question about this one, you can come and ask me inside my Discord. I will be hanging out every day from 8.30 to 9.30 Cambodian times inside the Discord channel. So link in the description as well. All of this code right here, I will publish this one inside the, the blog post. You will find the link to the all of the function right here. Yep. So any question, feel free to come and talk with me directly inside my Discord. And so if you like this video, don't forget to like and subscribe. And what do you think about Superbase new feature of this cron job schedule? And for me, I really like it. So what do you think? Comment down below. So see you in the next video. Peace.